Hey guys, it's Colin Chan and welcome back peoples. So in today's video, we are gonna be ranking Ariana Grande's new album, Eternal Sunshine. This album is a really good album. Honestly, I think it's one of my favorite Ariana Grande albums. Actually, no, it is my favorite Ariana Grande album. I have been streaming it, listening to it. It is so good. I was going to film my reaction to it, but then I was like, eh, what if I don't like it? Even though we don't have my official reaction, I am going to be ranking the songs. Okay, so these are the different ranking so first we have eternal sunshine and that means this song gives me eternal sunshine this song gives me happiness this song gives me peace this song is the light of my soul then we have i'm streaming it that means i like this song so i will be streaming it but it doesn't give the same energy that eternal sunshine is it's okay i like it and i'll listen to it but i'm not immediately clicking to listen to it shuffle i like it but i don't like it that much and i'm only going to be listening to it if it's on shuffle immediately no please don't play this i actually hate the song so much and i don't want you to play it okay so the first song on eternal sunshine is Intro, end of the world. Intro, end of the world. It's a good song. Wait, let me listen to it real quick. I am only listening to intro, end of the world if it's on shuffle. And here's why. I think this song is good, and I think this song is kind of a good intro, but one, it's only a minute and 30 seconds, but also, it's not like my vibe. Like, I like it, and I think it's pretty, but it's not like, oh, I want to listen to that. Oh, please play that. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, it's just... It's eh. So, the next song is Bye, and I'm streaming Bye. Okay. I love Bi, and I love the production of it, and I love that it's very disco. It's okay, I'll stream it, but it's just not my top picks. Then the next song is Don't Wanna Break Up Again. Don't Wanna Break Up Again, I'm gonna put in I'm Streaming It. I love the song and the chorus. I love the chorus, and I love, like, the meaning of the song, and also, like, the opening lyrics, I fall asleep crying, you turn up the TV, you don't wanna hear me. Oh my god, it hits so hard that I'm on a different planet. I do love this song, and I do love the meaning of it, and I think it's great, but just not one of my topics. The next song is Saturn Returns Interlude, but here's the thing, Saturn Returns Interlude is actually just the intro to Eternal Sunshine, so by itself, Saturn Returns Interlude, I'm not playing it, but I'm not gonna count it as its own thing just because it's literally the intro to Eternal Sunshine, and Ariana probably just didn't put it with Eternal Sunshine because if you click to listen to Eternal Sunshine and the first thing you hear is a TED talk in a college classroom, you know, the first thing you hear is When we're all born Saturn somewhere and the Saturn cycle takes around about 29 years. Like, you know, if you click on Eternal Sunshine and you're like, what is this college essay classroom-ish, you know, like, you're probably not going to want to listen to it. So that's probably why Ariana didn't include it as a part of Eternal Sunshine. But when you pair it with Eternal Sunshine, yes, my soul is ascending. Yes, it is. I have reached heaven. It, it's the meaning of healing. It's the meaning of Eternal Sun. You know, like, come on. But yeah, so I'm going to count Saturn Returns Interlude and Eternal Sunshine as the same thing. Saturn Returns Interlude and Eternal Sunshine is going in eternal sunshine. I love the meaning of eternal sunshine and just about like how when you break up with somebody it's hard and you want to get rid of like the memories of them and you have to like deal with the pain that they caused but ultimately it's kind of a part of life. In life we go through pain but if we erase those memories and we erase that pain how are we gonna learn? How are we gonna move forward? So that's why I love this song. Then the next song is Supernatural. It is eternal sunshine. Yep. Yep, yep. At first, I didn't really like Supernatural, but then the more I think about it, I've been like repeating it and it's been playing in my head. I love it so much and I think it's such a good song because it's just talking about when you find this person that you love. It really is Supernatural, you know, and I think it's a really good message and so that's why Supernatural is going into Eternal Sunshine. Next up, we have True Story. Ooh, let me think about this. True Story is gonna go in, I'm streaming it, Ooh, if you love when Ariana gets like deep with her voice and has like the high notes and the whistle tones This song is perfect for that. I am gonna jump to listen to it But it's just not it doesn't give me the same feeling that like eternal sunshine or supernatural does It's almost there like it's right there, but it's just not the same feeling next up We have the boy is mine. You don't even need to ask me the boy is mine 
Eternal Sunshine. It is very good. I'm pretty sure it samples the song by Brandy a little bit. And also, I'm pretty sure it has a little bit of the unreleased song Fantasize. I haven't listened to Fantasize. Ariana said that The Boy Is Mine and True Story are actually sister tracks and they coincide with one another. And if The Boy Is Mine uses a little bit of Fantasize, then this is a true story about all the lies you fantasize. And then if True Story and The Boy Is Mine are sister tracks, and if The Boy Is Mine is supposed to be fantasize oh my like do you get it like do you get do you get the genius do you get the the feeling i love that song it's been on repeat for a little while all right next up we have yes and um do you need like yes and is my eternal sunshine it's my favorite song from the album i love yes and and i love the message behind it literally do what you want and you're gonna be happy you're gonna thrive some people say it's the standout of the album and i agree the rest of the album is definitely like more r b 90s 2000s but even if it is the standout i don't care it's still a good song and i'm still streaming it and it's still the best song next up is we can't be friends wait for your love okay we Can't Be Friends, Wait For Your Love is going in Eternal Sunshine. I was thinking about putting it in I'm Streaming It, but the more I think about it, I actually do love the song. And I love the meaning about just, like, letting go and just realizing, like, you can't be friends with somebody that hurt you. The live performance she did on SNL was amazing, and you guys need to go watch it. And the music video was beautiful. All in all, I just, I really love the song. I Wish I Hated You is next, and I'm streaming it. I like this song and I'm listening to it, but it's really sad, so I'm only gonna listen to it if I'm like in a sad mood, but I love the song and I love her vocal performance and the emotions is god tier. She sounds like she's actually crying. I don't have anything else to say, just other than I like it and I think it's a good song. Next up is Imperfect For You. Immediately no. Immediately no. I kind of like this song. Actually, I don't even really like this song. I think it is because the song sounds a little weird, and I get that's supposed to be on purpose, but it's just not good. Then we have Ordinary Things featuring Nona. I'm gonna put it in It's Okay. I'm gonna put it in It's Okay. I don't hate the song. I'm not gonna stream it, and it's not my eternal sunshine, but also I'm not only gonna listen to it if it's on shuffle, and I don't hate the song. But this should not have been the last song. She chose this song as the last song because she says that the album starts with a question and ends with an answer because in the beginning of intro, end of the world, it's how do I know if I'm in the right relationship? And then Nona kind of gives her that answer where it's like, if you love this person and you feel comfortable around them, then that's how you know. And I love that, but it should not have been the last song. It's not powerful enough. Yes, and should have been the last song. Hear me out. So in the beginning of the album, she's like, if the sun will refuse to shine, will you be mine? How do I know if I'm in the the right relationship you know and she just has all these questions and then throughout the album she meets a new boy spongebob i need to stop and then she breaks up with this boy at the end she goes off with this boy and then yes and could have been the last one because it would have fixed two problems one yes and is the standout of the album because it's the ninth track and that makes no sense like we go from the boy is mine to yes and to then we can't be friends we go from like this high to this low and i think it would have made more sense if she had put supernatural the boy is mine and then true story and i get true story and the boy is mine are supposed work as sister tracks but it could be switched around we can't be friends i wish i hated you imperfect for you ordinary things and then yes and because then it flows more fluidly ordinary things it kind of makes sense this is the last song but yes and it's like we've gone through this turmoil and also another thing and we can't be friends she literally says now it's only me but maybe that's all i need but then in the very song before that we said be your own best friend you only need yourself how does that make any sense if it was the last song one one, the upbeat would have made more sense and it wouldn't really have stood out because it's the last song It's supposed to be happy and so now that we've gone through all this pain It's like don't care about what other people think yes, and you know don't care So like do you see what I'm saying? Do you see how yes and would have made more sense as the very last song instead of the ninth? But again, I kind of get where she's going with yes, and but it should have been the last song So this is my ranking of eternal sunshine. Yes, and Saturn returns and elude and eternal sunshine the boys 
his mind supernatural and we can't be friends wait for your love is in eternal sunshine i'm streaming it is true story don't want to break up again bye and i wish i hated you it's okay is ordinary things featuring nona shuffle intro end of the world and immediately know is imperfect for you again this is my opinion and this is just what i think of the album if you guys agree let me know thank you guys so much for watching this video like and subscribe and comment down below tell me what you think of the album and i will see you guys in the next one bye